Sela is there. So hi guys, welcome to our channel, Blue Room episode what? Just continue, it's an episode Episode our somewhere. delivery story. Mm. <laughs> so, picking up from where we left last time, uh, the story that we had. Now, we got, we now waited, how long did we wait before getting pregnant with now our baby first? As we had even decided, ah, you know yeah. this story. It's, it, yeah. you know what? School later, come. Yeah, the day it will happen. It will happen. It happens. Yeah. So we just told the, God the, and we yeah. leave this thing to you. The day the Lord will bless us, He will bless us. Mm. Um, so that was 2018. Now, as we had decided, let's make this special. Let's try again August 2019 because August is our anniversary. Yeah. You think August fickered? June. <laughs> <laughs> June, July, August. Yeah. So yeah, June. So June, we had the baby fourth on board. We had gone now, actually after going through the procedure, the DNC procedure, I started experiencing pain in my uterus on one side. And I remember going to another gynecologist to find out what's happening. Because uh, I thought now there was a damage that happened on my uterus on my uterus wall that's causing me pain every not only when I'm rolling, but randomly I just have like a pain on my left side. So we said to go to a gynecologist, they did a scan. They said they found I had very minimal endometriosis. It's like before the endometriosis. That's that's like the it's yeah, and that's what they they found out that I have and started the treatment process. Oh, she gave me some dawas that I started using that did not I didn't experience any change. So after finishing that prescription, I went back to her and she's like, oh. Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll just write you another prescription, and you're like, "I got this." This is if the first prescription. If the first prescription didn't work, why? I don't know. I think. Why rewrite the same prescription I'm not blaming for another doctors, one month? But I think Manze finding a good doctor in yeah. Nairobi. Yeah, yeah. and just... it was I was prescribed without being sent out for a checkup. You know, mm. to see what progress I've made. You know, the first time we checked. Second time now, she just prescribed the dawas because I didn't experience any change. Mm -hmm. uh, I still had my pain, so she sent me for the same dawas, and you we were like, "This is it. We need to find somebody else." Now, this is the third doctor. Just to get the story straight, eh? the first doctor is the one we had those bad experiences with. The second doctor is the one now who prescribed some medicines which were not looking like they were working. Yeah. The third doctor now is the one who was like, "Hey, eh, okay." Actually, the third doctor was so shocked when we told her about the experiences that we went through. Him. Her. It was her, the first meeting. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, how many miscarriages do you have? Three. Yeah. Any tests they did on you? No. What? How come? Uh, we don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, Checkups? None whatsoever. Reasons that they gave? It's normal for women to go through a miscarriage. And a time will come when you can carry a pregnancy. And she was like, what? Mm. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, they gave us a list of tests to do. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, it was uh, random checkups, yes. you know. But the instruction was do this test once your periods have come. Yeah. Once your monthly cycle has started. Because they, they, they have to test that the blood. Uh, the blood. Yeah, that's what they want to do. So, as we are home, uh, so he has monthly cycle is late so we're wondering what's happening we do the test the test is inconclusive it's negative so we're like what's happening here the test is negative and my monthly babies are but the monthly, monthly period is not coming. coming so we're like what's happening here so to kangoja to kangoja we waited so so Ila, i th think that's the time if you watched our discovery video that's when it happened all that time when soila discovered that we were pregnant 
the reason we were so excited is because of all this as we are waiting to go do the tests so that the yeah. doctor can tell us what the problem is yeah. but instead the test we get back is that we are positive yeah so we chilled we chilled we waited until we got the tests a thin faint line so we go to the doctor and the first time the doctor doesn't see anything yeah the doctor is like hey you did a test and it was positive hey, okay because from my scan i can i can't see anything so but just before we jump to the gun let let's not be so sure mm. go back home test uh, take this dawas take this just medicine, in case you have something just in case it yeah. will help so we go home we stayed home for some time until now the next visit we came that's when he, com- he, he was able to confirm there is something that is truly and now this is where the first uh, episode of the blue room series begins Picture from uh, yeah we've come around full mm. circle So fast forward because we told you guys everything. Yeah. Fast forward to now. We are at uh, 37 weeks. Yeah. So <laughs> so we are at 37 weeks. We are ready, you know, we are about to go to the hospital. So so Ila goes to the hospital. Uh the scan is done. At 38. I went. No, no, at 37. At 37. We go to the hospital at 37. Oh, yes, yeah, at 7. The doctor does the scan they confirm ah this baby is ready to come anytime yeah. he's already facing down yeah. you know he looks good and everything yeah. Cosette. so we go back home two days after that test at night at night so Eli is feeling some funny activities in the stomach <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like hey, this uh, the womb <laughs> like this baby is playing, playing too much. much yeah he's playing too much he's wondering what's happening yeah uh, so We were sent to go do a 3D scan. You see the hospital they just do that uh, come ultrasound. But they send you to go do a 3D 4D scan. Yeah. So we go to do the 3D 4D. Okay, normally they send it for you so that you can they can what is it? Say I said any why? You have, you don't have to call to, to correct every single thing. No, so I'm saying why you, you do the 3D scan. You don't have to say it in why? the middle of my story. Well, how do Wait I for me to finish my story and then you say it later. You feel bad. You are in, in disturbing my train of thought. <laughs> Okay, go back. Okay, so I'll continue training. Guys, I, I'm going to give you this person. <laughs> I'll give you to the audience. How much would you sell me? Huh? How much would you sell me? No, I will lease you because I'll want you back at some point. <laughs> 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 okay. So, uh the recent for 3D scan. So, we go to the 3D scan. Ah, as we know, we know what the scan is going to tell us. Yeah. Hey, watch how we are there at the 3D scan. And then we are looking at the scan and then the nurse is telling us, "Eh, your baby is facing up." And we are like, "What?" Breech position, yeah? He's facing up and he has the cord tied around his neck. So we're wondering what the heck is this? Eh, so such stress because you know what that means, eh? When you hear the cord around the neck, the first thing that comes to your mind, especially if you've had that kind of a past of losing babies, you you imagine he's going to be, you know, suffocated or something. Eh hey, so it was a mess that day. So just like oh my gosh. Blah, 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 blah. So we go back to the hospital. The doctor in the hospital confirms that truly the baby has first up bridge position because yeah. they, had, they, they they the doctors don't like when they don't prefer when you do a normal delivery when the legs are the ones coming first because it can bring a lot of complications including uh death sometimes. So we are there wondering what is this and all this coil over the head. So me I just I remembered all the things that I rem- I just remembered the journey that God has taken us through. <laughs> and I told God this is it. We have not come all this way for this thing to go like this. So we are going to trust that this baby will turn back. Mm. And this is certain thing we are being told because now the baby is in bridge position as we are not We are not planning to go that direction. Yeah. I know the people who choose to go through CS there's nothing wrong with yes, that. Yes, it's not it's yeah. not an attack yeah. for CS. Yeah, guys. but for us you can see yes, it's, it's okay. Fine. It's yeah. okay. Don't feel bad. Yeah. We are just telling you about what us we, we preferred. Wanted, yes. What us we wanted. Yeah. We wanted to do it normal. Mm. So eh, as in the only thing we could do here is pray now because even the doctors were like there's nothing we can do. And I know sometimes there's this thing where they try to position the baby in the stomach. But it's all, it also has its own risks especially with the cord around the neck during that position in that cord can end up you know tightening and becoming our situation so the doctors were just like we have scheduled you for CS you come on this date uh, you are going to do 
the thing so we just told our friends we told our pastors we told our parents now it was prayers guys were just praying guys were just praying then one day 38 weeks or 39 39. 39 weeks. So 13, 38 is when we now went to the doctor, to the doctor. for her to, for him for the doctor to confirm mm. that oh actually mm. your baby is facing down. So that's mm. like 38 weeks. Mm. And it's the most abnormal. So the chances of having the baby turning look turning back yeah. is low. Yeah. Once they were telling us they're telling us at you, you cut me. You cut me. You, you did bleeding? cut me. You, you did I've oh my lord anywhere. interject shoop you know, last time you said, told me that I interject. So, what are you going to do? So, the baby Kwanza turned first down from week 26. The baby was looking chini. Mm. But the head was down from week 26. And then week 27, 37, 37 they flipped to, to be in bridge position. So, when I go for that 3D scan, because for the doctor sends you for a 3D scan so that they can. They send you oh, for that. Oh, they send you, mm. yes, confirmation that baby is in the best position for a normal childbirth. So, so that's what you take back to your doctors for them to say, oh, now we can book you in for kawaida bath and not CS. Hey. And then that's when we did confirm the the scan guys are like, ah, your baby is breached. We got to the hospital after one week because now you have to go after. Her. When you're late in your pregnancy, you go every other. We go weekly. So when I'm going for the last week, for the next appointment, my doctor, just by holding, like the head is down. So, madam, we are booking you for a CS. And I'm the head like, is up. Oh, the head is up. We are booking you for a CS uh, on this date. So they gave me 5th as the date. 5th March. 5th of March as the date. And I'm like, eh, please push it forward. Give me 9th because I'm waiting for my mom to be around for her to be also part of the the experience you mm. know i want i want everybody to be at least around when we are going through a cs it's literally it's surgery but in my heart in our hearts of hearts we knew this is not our we don't want to go through it mm. so we had to involve all our close people to start praying for us we pray that this one can turn down which is not which the doctor said it is impossible yeah by it, 37 it's a really weeks, rare case by the, yeah by 37 weeks if the, if, if the baby is not facing down yeah chances are it won't happen yeah 38 they are still facing down by 38 <laughs> they are still facing up up, up sorry yeah, yeah. The face facing up the head was still up yeah and you know the the chances were i remember me at some point i even lost faith on that he did. i was just now worried why am i getting money for cs yeah so Ila was like, cut is you was cut it. So Ila was sure. Then, like I need your support you in know. having faith mm. that this baby mm. will turn his head will be down again. But I think he may have given up on because it was the most rare of cases. Mm. So 38 week kushas and we continue praying with our BS members and our friends and family. and family. So again I go for my 39th week checkup before yeah, because you go until you give birth. So I go for a 39th week checkup. And she checks, she's like, ah, madam. Oh, Kwanza, I walk into the room, she's like, has the baby turned? I'm like, you will have to confirm for me. This is one week since the baby was facing up, when it was in breech position. And she's like, has the baby turned? I'm like, <laughs> you'll have to confirm for me. So she tells me, after before you can't anything, panda for your bed. So I'm there and start checking. She's like, why do I feel like the head is down? And I'm like, what do you mean <laughs> that the head is down? It's just been a week since the baby yalko meangalea ju, and now I didn't feel. You remember the activity that I felt mm. when he was turning? Mm. I didn't feel that much activity. Yeah, that much activity when he was now turning yeah. to face down. Mm. But you guys, the exercises I I looked up online what to do for if your baby is bridge position for them to go to be head head first. I I was sitting upside down. <laughs> Curtis was laughing at me in the house because I was constantly my head down, my feet are up, and my lower. Bo- I'll show you the exercise that I did to have my baby turn. But honestly speaking, when she said that, why am I feeling as though this is the head now at the lower part of your belly? And I'm like, what? So she's like, I'm going to send for a scan just to confirm. Now, me, I'm starting being paranoid because I'm like, okay, probably, you know. The butt area also feels like the head because mm. it's at staff. 
and she sent me for a scan and the woman the, the other doctor who did the scan just placed the is, 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 it, called, is it called a doppler no mm-hmm. so that thing that thing just places it like yeah the head is down and i went back to the doctors to the gynecologist and i'm like yes it's confirmed the head is down she's like you're one of the rarest cases is that even a word mm. rarest mm. oh wow rarest cases so me i was in i was at work at that time i was teaching at some school so Soila like, calls me and is like yeah so your guy has turned back down and i'm like what <laughs> but yeah he's not you know how Soila Soila sometimes has jokes yeah. so me i'm waiting for her to tell me no i'm kidding and i'm like she's not saying she's kidding yeah and i was like you mean 39 weeks at 39 weeks that is because we have a doctor at our church and he was telling us guys consider yourselves uh having experienced a miracle because yeah. that is impossible it is a very rare rare thing to happen so we're just like hey thank god for coming through for us so now after that now we started the long wait oh yes the moment you hit 37 38 39 weeks you just want that baby to come out yeah so and i think now for me now that the baby was facing down i'm like you are i'm not giving you any opportunity to turn to again <laughs> yes please come out <laughs> Yeah. So it's make him drop and engage properly. Mm. That was now some of the things that you were working towards. Yeah. Yeah. So this particular day, this baby is very interesting. He came exactly on the due date he was given. Yeah. So that day I go back home. Uh I go buy pineapples. Mm. Oh yeah, I go is... buy pineapples because <laughs> pineapples apparently they induce. So I go buy pineapples. <laughs> I take pineapples back to Soila. I find Soila had cooked uh, some pancakes there. Nini, nini. I buy food. So I'm like, babe. Uh, Soila is like, Kai, why am I hitting the camera? Mm, stop hitting the camera. <laughs> so Soila is like, hey, babe, the way I've been feeling today, I don't think we are going to sleep in this house tonight. Come, hey, okay, sir. Let me just make dinner so that we'll see when pressure. Don't have stress on your body. Yeah. Let me just make dinner for you. And then we, we, we stay a lot. So I go and start making dinner. Then Soila is like, she's fiambered all the pineapples I bought for her. So she's like, you know how we <laughs> It's not true. So she started her things. <laughs> wow, babe, how far is that food? <laughs> So me, I'm just there, I'm cooking, then she's like, hey, let me go shower, maybe it will help me relax. So yeah. she goes, showers in the warm water, in the warm shower. Hey, Naskia too, some funny sounds in the shower. Woo! No! <laughs> it's not true! <laughs> it's not true! So, <laughs> apparently, the, the contractions are now getting worse in the shower. <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm like, wow, babe, we have to go. Because I think the contraction, you bled a bit, eh? What happened is uh-huh. when I was in the shower, when I just turned on the shower, because mm. I hadn't even started bathing, mm. I just washed my face, and then I'm about to just wait, enjoy my shower, and uh, like an intense contraction hit me, where I think I almost lost the balance. Mm. So I decided, hey, let me pee, because that one was so strong, I think all the pressure now got to my blood, and I was like, let me pee. When I peed, and then when you wipe yourself, I'm like, there's a bloody show. And yes, they say you can have a bloody show, but I don't know where my mind was at, at that particular time. I do not know. And I'm like, where? I am bleeding. Anything can escalate from now mm. to a hundred. Let's just go. And I'm like, cut to switch off the gas. Cut is still corroding the nyama. And I'm like, Nigga, I was not, I was not believing that I'm leaving that nyama. You guys, I... <laughs> you know those days you make that food with all your heart. Yeah. I had karanga that meat. <laughs> so put all my favorite spices. Yeah. Then so Ella is telling me let's go to hospital yeah. now. Yeah. I actually just took my towel, mm. wiped. I hadn't even showered. Mm. Wiped myself because me I was like this. Well, I'm going to the hospital clean. I don't want to go there. And you're, yeah, and you're not even clean. Mm. So I'm showering and then it's like uh, eh, I'm done. I tried brushing my teeth. I just I. I just I did like I think I did like three strokes one two three, <laughs> rinsed my mouth, wore tights and my and, and a black shirt and we were 
I'm like, Curtis, let's go. Curtis is still struggling with them. I'm like, let's go. Anything can happen right now. Because now I'm feeling them. They are now more closer. Yeah. Closer to each other and the intense is not as painful. Mm-hmm. I can manage but them. Closer. But they are very close. Yeah. And they say when they it's quite regular, mm. it's time for you to go to the hospital. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so finally I had to surrender my meat. I'll come finish cook it later. Hey, we quickly went to the car. You know, in my mind, I had planned that that day will be epic. That I'll record everything. Oh, Lord. We'll have all the cinematic shots. You know, of Soila going into labor. Hey, Soila was a rakisha in me. Let's go. I didn't even record none of that. So, first time mamas. We go on traffic. Hey, we're trying. Oh, all, all, we go. We, we, we drive. We go pick to one of our friends. That's the day every route you decide to take has traffic. Yep. Hey, so my mom call. I call my mom. I'm like, hey, oh, we are on our way to hospital. And she's like, how far? How many centimeters? Because my mom has done midwife yeah. before, so she knows all those things. So she how was like, how many centimeters? No. How, how apart? Oh, how apart are the contractions? Centimeters. It can be a four minutes. I can be a. Ooh, you are going to give birth on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm away. So those, those things that we see in movies actually happen. Yeah. Because then I am not doing it. Because it's about to just car. break road rules. I just took some funny car to Barabara and went, joined the bypass. What? All the way to where the hospital was. Yeah. Got to the hospital, we entered the hospital, we got there in good time. The nurse came, checked Soila. Because Soila is there. <laughs> so, so, like yes, so, so, so that out. Because I, I had to I had to go yeah, to sort, sort out the finances. So me get to the hospital so, and I'm sitting I imagine I could manage all these contractions because I'm fine. Mm. It it wasn't as intense, but again, it's not something that I'm used to. Mm. So I had to sit down and take a breath. So I was being told by my friend Josephine, because she's the one who was with me, breathe every time you have mm. a contraction. Just just breathe. It helps out. I'm like, yes, every time I'm like, which is hard sometimes to breathe when you're in pain. And then, no, keep so quiet. So, no. this story. Let me tell you. Let's listen, Candice. No, listen. So, no, I haven't finished. So, <laughs> we, I sit down on the seat. Candice has to go do the documentation, uh, admissions, Maneno. So, the nurse is like, hey, well, but see, you won't go back home today because if these things are this close, you won't mm. go back home. So, they give me the maternity manguas, prepare the bed in the labor ward for me. They even brought me dinner. We're just now talking there with Josephine saying what I, I didn't like what they I think now my test buds have really changed. I said testing, oh, I, I didn't test. So I just had yogurt because everything else was tasting blunt and weird. And we said having conversations until now they decided, the doctor said, let me check you uh, just to confirm how many centimeters you've dilated. That is the worst thing ever that has ever oh lo 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 I think next time I would go to the hospital and I'm ten centimeters because I'm not ready to be checked. It was the most uncomfortable thing ever. So after being checked, wore my clothes again and and said I told Justin I think I was two centimeters. Yeah, two. I think I was two centimeters and told her oh let's go. It's around now. It's around around. Was it 10? Yeah, around 10 p.m. Muko. Let's go outside for, for a walk. So me, I just, we are taking laps in the hospital, walking, taking, walking around the hospital so that I think the baby can drop and my labor can progress pretty fast. We took, we walked until I was like, hey, hey, yawa. At this rate, I don't think I'll have the capacity to get, to, to go up a staircase. So let's just go back to the hospital. Let's go back to my bed and just wait for it to progress from there. We got to the around now. This is around 11 p.m. Yeah, around 11 p.m. So we get to the hospital to the to the bed, and we start chapping toro. But now it's getting the more intense. I can't now chop toros with anyone. Now it's time to wrap my back. I breathe when contractions come. I breathe, who who who, and then the cutters have to take turns rubbing my back. Why are you laughing? See, I'm just laughing how you are rubbing your back. Yeah, but you, you aren't rubbing my back. It was so tiresome. It was tiresome. <laughs> the pain that I was feeling, rubbing the back made it better, as in manageable through every contraction. I think it got to a point where there was, the contractions were hitting hard and painful. 
I don't know if it was better lying down. I even remember uh, uh, one time I got off the bed, knelt on the seat, and just you know they say those those like those those labor positions that people say that they're better. That's what I was doing, but the pain was not going away. I even I puked twice. No. So so he has so he has greatly edited this story. <laughs> So Sela was there, lying there on the table, and I'm not doing this to make fun of her. She's the mother of my child. So <laughs> I don't trust you. Sela is there. Woo! Ah! Woo! I was breathing. I did so, not. So. <laughs> Josephine is telling Soila, Soila, breathe, eh? breathe, don't make noise. Okay, Soila is like, okay, okay. <sighs> Two seconds, she's forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the nurses come. Agnes, because now the, the nurses have to call her by the first name. Agnes, every time you make noise, you, you use more energy and you need that energy to push. So don't make noise, just breathe. Okay, okay. Then she reminded me, breathe, breathe. A contraction hits. It's not, it's not funny. But then, at that time, it was not funny. It, right now, it's funny because we are thinking about it in hindsight. At that time, it was serious business. Yeah. So, so Ella finishes making her noise. Then she sits down on the bed. <laughs> she pukes all the pineapples, everything. My shoes, my beautiful shoes are just there. So Ella does not care. All the puke is getting on my shoes. Anyway, it is our baby, no problem. So fast forward, everything was done. Uh, the nurse came, checked, so that the baby was actually... This is about no, 1 a.m. So she mm-hmm. decided, uh, after like puking, and like, mm-hmm. now didn't have a proper sitting position or a lying <laughs> position that made the pain. Now, they were like... A st- it doesn't mean a minute, less than a minute apart. I didn't even have time mm. to breathe. You know, normally when you're going through contraction, the period that you have between the next contraction, literally, it's your time to breathe and catch. I didn't have that. Every second, I would feel the body wanting to just expel the baby out. And I remember, I don't even know, I didn't even remember telling the, telling the nurse that I feel like poop, uh, pooping. Because I tell you, if you feel yeah. like pooping, that's now you wanting to push. Mm. Uh, now the baby is literally there. <clears throat> and I remember just just in calling them, like, hey, please check on her because even the nurse came and said, the, the noise you're making now, mm. it's time to check you. Mm. Which uh, noise was it? There's no noise. I was just. No. <laughs> She's like, let me just confirm. But I'm like, let me let this spring come up. She's like, it won't push her right now, but just wait for it to pass. It'll you know, go the contraction to pass and then I'll check you. She checks me, she's like, where? The baby is here. Let's just go. Ikipitai. Faster, faster. Let's go to the delivery room. No shoes. I don't even know if I wore my slippers. Mm. I don't remember. And we went to the delivery room. She's like, I need you to, because it was so fast. The, what do you call it? It the, progressed. The yeah, the, yeah. No, it progressed pretty fast as well. So by the time we go to the delivery room, they weren't, they had to like, start wearing, finding thingies. She's like, don't push, just breathe. When a contraction comes, do not push, just breathe. Because a baby can come and you're not ready. Mm. The place is not yeah. set up. Like, okay, ra, 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 set up, set up. And like, now we are ready. Push. Every contraction, you push. Mm. I just did four pushes and the baby yeah, was but here. That was fast. Very fast. Yeah, you push that baby fast. Yeah. yeah. You know me, I was expecting <laughs> to see the things I see in movies. Like one hour. Yeah, you tearing my hair, yeah. calling me all sorts of names. Yeah. So I was so disciplined. Very disciplined. She just pushed twice or thrice without dramas. Yeah. I was like, wow, that was very interesting. So the baby comes out. So Eli is giving the baby. I don't know why they didn't want me to hold the baby. Did you ask? See, I was about to near Kasema, you are the one who has to hold them first. Oh, you should have actually. I don't know why uh, you didn't insist. I don't know. Probably they didn't trust my... Were you clean? I was really clean. Were you sure? Yeah. But anyway, they are doctors. I trust that they know yeah. why they did that. Yeah. So, so Ilaka, so Tio Apple, the baby was taken there. Uh, yeah. And 
that's how they deliver the story. Wait, came. The yeah. baby just came out like this, and I was like, yes, that's the nose point. is mine. <laughs> I won the bet. So <laughs> Yeah, and they came out uh, and crying. I'm like, yay! Yeah. And the pain, just like a bad switch, went off. Pim, yeah. And I'm like, wow. All that drama mm. for it to just die off like that. Yeah. And now it was the breastfeeding journey. That's another story for another day. Yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> 